Alright. Hopefully it stays recording this time. Ah. I just realised there's two cameras on my phone. I actually don't know what one to look at. Oh, sorry. It should be good. Hopefully. So, hey everyone. I hope you're all doing great today. So, it's Joe the Insomniac back again. So, I'm actually at work, which is actually just finished an hour or so ago. And I just wanted to do a vlog type of video again because everyone really enjoys them and obviously the more I progress and evolve with it the better they'll be and the more I can actually give and start doing the types of videos I actually want to do. So yeah just a little bit more about me um like I said before I work in the UK National Health Service so I actually love this job and it's something I've done for a little while now and I found that it's given me a lot of opportunities to grow and learn so at the minute I'm actually learning about neurodegenerative conditions, I can never say it. For example, like multiple cirrhosis and um, neuromuscular ones, sorry, and Alzheimer's disease and all different kinds of brain diseases and I actually find it really interesting. And the course is actually quite intense, I've started doing for it, but I've started to really learn a lot so I actually really enjoy doing this. And um, just an update about me. Um, I'm pretty happy at the minute, I've just started to be able to exercise again and I've found that's made like the world's difference to everything for me because I think I said in the last video that I had to see a physiotherapist to actually go in and fix my uh, ilium sacrum joint basically and it's pretty bad until recently so it's done the world's good for me and some days to be honest like, I do find I still struggle with getting a balance with everything like Especially with this, because I have to work, then after I've, I've left my work, like I leave the house at 7 which isn't too early, but then whatever time I get, like, let's say 6 or so, I still need to press on, I still need to like make huge videos, and I still need to continue with my studying, which I can find hard sometimes, because with the way this is set up, is I don't necessarily have time where I'm not doing something I'm always working and then I always have to do my um, degree on top of it so it can be challenging sometimes but for me I find if I actually structure in the good things on top of it, it actually really helps me get a balance so for me that's been probably the most important thing like yesterday even if it's just something simple like going to Starbucks and trying to get on with like studying and then actually recording for a YouTube video it actually really helps so I found this has been something that's quite small but it's made a really big difference for me so I think it's something important just to keep in mind when you're doing things and yeah I'll start doing more with more information I just need to spend a little bit of time just to plan out exactly how I want to do it and I do actually have the longer videos but again it's just about the structure of it at the minute so yeah I've probably got to get another camera too because I have an issue where whenever I import the videos into my lap that computer it doesn't actually render properly so the video comes out blurry but I'll figure it out <laughs> eventually and hopefully you can hear me okay because I got my airpods in but who knows <laughs> well I'll know in a minute when I start recording but yeah so I hope everybody's doing great today and um I'll try and give more and more information about what I do and things I've actually found that have helped me because I know it helps people and makes a difference. So I just wanted to ask too, what channels do you guys want to see me collaborate with? And um, what kind of horror stories do you want to see? And would you rather just standalone vlog type videos or just videos of me in general? Would you prefer them in videos? because the good thing is if they're in videos it can be short at the start but obviously if they're longer then it takes away from the horror narration so I'll probably have to do the longer videos in on basically separate from everything else but yeah I'm excited about it and I'm gonna start doing more interactive stuff on my Patreon so make sure you go and check that out I should have that up and running in a couple of weeks so I really look forward to that and thank you too for all the kind messages I get all the time, like I really appreciate it, like it really means a lot to me. So yeah, I'm about to have my hot chocolate which is actually holding up the camera. I just spilled it on my hand and burned the life out of myself but you can't actually see it now. But yeah, I hope you're all doing great. And um, I'll explain more of the core interesting things I do at work. Like, 
was doing buds today which is quite interesting but obviously i can't actually show you that but um basically the patient didn't have very good veins in the cubital fossa region i believe it's called which is up here which is like a triangle like i've got good veins so you can actually see them quite visibly but he didn't so we had to do the back of the hand which is called metacarpal but the problem is when you do bloods here the veins they'll yeah, the veins actually move as you put the needle in and where they're close to the surface it's very easy to go in too deep or just to completely miss it but we got our first successful one today so that was very good so i was really happy with that and yeah it's around probably really sweaty too but i hope everyone's doing great so i've got to get back to doing work things now but i'll speak to you all soon